What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Penny Parker from the Spider-Verse. Let's begin today's lesson by adding a guideline coming down the center of our page to help with the symmetry of our drawing. So we're going to start right at the very top in the middle. It's going to lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Just using these short lines, coming all the way down. Let's go back to the center and draw another line going across from left to right. So we'll start with the left side and then extend that out towards the right. Now I'm going to use these lines to help us create a circle in the middle. Let's start from the center, step up towards the top. It's going to mark off the top of our circle. Let's take this distance down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Now do the same thing across this horizontal line, taking this distance from the center out towards the left and then again towards the right. Now I want to connect the center point with a curve to create our circle. So let's start with the top left. It's going to work our way around towards the side. Now we don't have to be perfect, we just want to get the right shape and placement on our page. We can always go back and just smooth this out. Let's add another guideline coming down the side of our circle. So we'll start with the left side, coming all the way down, and then do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to place the eyes just underneath the center line. So let's start right in the middle on the left. Sketch a circle coming all the way down towards the bottom and then back up towards the top. Now let's move over towards the right and do the same thing. Now you want to bring that down towards the same height and then back up towards the top. Now I want to pull the iris and pupil towards the inside. So let's start on top of the left eye. We're going to step in, draw an oval coming around towards the bottom and then pull that up on the inside. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's pull the brow down on top of the eyes. So from the left, we're going to step in. It's going to angle this up and then out. Line this up over on the right. Go across the top of the eye. Now right where this line meets the top of the eye, draw a straight line going out. Let's extend the outside of the eye from this line, coming down and in towards the bottom of that circle. Now just underneath the bottom of the eyes, we're going to step down, draw a straight line going across. Now this is where we're going to locate the nose. And then from the center point, we're just going to curve this out and up towards the right with a short line. Now we're going to place the mouth along the bottom of our circle. So let's start on the left side. We're just going to shift this up toward the left down and then across towards the right. And then underneath the mouth, we're going to step down, draw a straight line going across the bottom of the chin. Now from the side, we're going to curve the head coming down and then in towards the chin. So let's start on the left. Bend this down and then in, round up the jaw, come in towards the chin. Let's go to the right and do the same thing, coming down and then bending that in. Now we're going to draw the hair coming down on top of the forehead. In between the eyebrows, let's bend this out and then up toward the left and right side. Now we're going to add a point coming down the side. Coming down and in towards the eyes. Go out and then back up. And then from the top, curve this down and then in towards the jaw. Now you want to push the hair out past this center circle. So from the top, let's step up. It's going to mark off the top of the head right about here with a straight line. Now from here we start building out the hair. Let's start in the middle, bend this out and then down towards the left and right side. Now we're going to add a point on the end. Bend this up and in. Let's add another point. Go out and then down toward the center line. And again, adding a point, just pulling that in. Now we're going to draw a straight line coming down to that bottom point. Go up and in. And we're going to start to work our way in towards the jaw. Come down and bend that in. And then pull that up. Let's add another point along the bottom, coming down towards the jaw. And I'll just tuck that up underneath the head. 
just underneath the chin, we're gonna step over towards the left and draw a half circle for the neck coming in towards the collar. And then this line is where the shoulders are gonna sit. So we're gonna go out, round up the shoulders, and then come down towards the line on the side. From the top of the shoulders, draw two straight lines coming down the side of the vest. And then from those two same points, come down and in towards the center. Now that we have the basic sketch in place, let's go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now that we have our clean rough sketch in place, let's add a second level of detail. We're going to start with the eyes and the eyebrow. Start with the bottom edge. We're going to go up and out towards the side. We're going to round up the eyebrow and go down towards the outside. Let's add some thickness. Going up along the top. Just follow that line coming in towards the inside. I'm just going to do the same thing on the right. And then on the inside, I'm just going to curve up the brow with a short line. Now just working our way across the eyelid, going out towards a point. And it'll lightly come down the side and then in towards the bottom. Trace the outside of the iris, going up underneath the eyelid. And draw a smaller oval in the center of the iris for the pupil. It's going to lightly block this in. I'm going to overlap some highlights on top. Let's start on the top left side, sketch out a circle, just overlapping the pupils. And also along the bottom right. And it'll darken up the center of the pupil going around that highlight. So let's trace this out first. And then just darken that up in the middle. And then come back and darken that up even more after. I'm just going to use the side edge of my pencil and add an even light shade to the outside of the iris. Again, going around those highlights. Just working our way across the hair, just adding a few more points along the bottom edge. I'm also using a scrap piece of paper just underneath my hand to prevent some smudging. And here I'm just going to add a little bit more detail to the body, starting with the neck. Just coming in towards the collar. I'm also going to add the tie. Just roughing this in first. I'm just going to go back and finish off the hair. Just refining those points. Just adding a few points in behind the head. Now I also want to create a highlight across the top of the hair. So we're going to start on the left side. We're just going to lightly add a curve. Coming down in towards the middle and then up towards the right. I'm going to step up and draw that again. Now I'm going to go back and add some more contrast to the face. 
Again, starting with the eyebrows. And we're just gonna clean up our lines. Darken up the iris, again going around that highlight. And now I'm gonna use the side edge of my pencil to darken up the hair. I'm just gonna work this up towards a highlight line. And just fading that out. And then working our way across towards the right. Just going to continue to darken up the top of the hair and then again fading that down towards that highlight.
we're going to cast a shadow from the hair on top of the head. Just adding a slightly darker shadow just underneath the head on the neck. And we'll darken up that tie. Now, as we get near the end of our drawing, we'll tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail. And always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Penny Parker. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to draw more characters like this, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.